All right, everyone, uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, so today we're gonna get a, another great workout in. Um, we're gonna mix it up again with intervals, boxing uh, combos, boxing drills, and full body exercises. So I'll go ahead and kick the bell on and we'll get started. First combo we have is gonna be a one. One, two, three. I'm gonna roll to the left and throw another three. You want to bring that hook back to the shoulder. You don't want to bring it way out here. You want to kind of finish it at the shoulder. So you don't get off balance. When you throw that left hook, you want to turn your front hip. Now I mix it into a one, two, five, two. You want to make sure you turn your hip for your right hand and then thrust up with the front hip for the left uppercut. So turn the right hip, thrust up left hip, and straight right hand. Now we're gonna do a one six. Roll two three. This jab uppercut. Roll right hand hook. to the bell. Last 30 seconds, you want to get everything you got. So this next round, we're gonna move into a boxing drill. Um, it's called the squat drill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a one, two, squat all the way down in your boxing stance. Come up and I'll continuously add two punches. So one, two, but only one squat. Squat, four punches, squat, six punches, squat, eight punches. It's, it's, Ten punches. Now twelve. Turn that right hip the whole time. Fourteen. Sixteen. And when you do this, you want to go back in your back leg more than your front leg. You want to keep your boxing stance so you're 60-40 in the back leg, you want to stay 60-40 in the back leg. Even on the way down. 20. That's 
So you always want to finish the round. The next drill we're going to do is called a chair drill. So you want to sit down in your boxing stance. So I don't want to sit like I'm sitting in a chair. I'm in my boxing stance, right foot to the side, left foot front, and I sit right down. And when you do this drill, you want to work on one or two punches. Um, basically, I'm going to squat down. I'm going to start off. I'm just going to stand up and throw a straight right hand. important that I don't lean forward as I come up. Keep the weight in the back hip and just turn the right hand. If you can stay balanced from sitting down to a stand-up position, it's really going to help your balance when you just throw that straight right hand normally. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the hook after it. Left hook. So I turn the right hip on the two, turn the left hip on the three. Really great drill to do. If you have a heavy bag, get a little bit more out of it. Careful, you don't lean forward. You don't want to come up like this, lean because you have nothing on your on your right hand. You want to stay back, right hand, left hook. It's, it's. Make sure your feet don't get too wide. So make sure you keep your normal stance, about shoulder width apart. It's, it's, it's. Maybe a little bit more. It's, it's, it's. It's, it's, it's.
I'm going to speed him up, throw a little more power at the end. Stick with that 30 second break and move right into our full. All right, so we have our five second squats. We're gonna squat down, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, and come up. One, two, three, four, five. I wanna make sure as I sit down that my legs, my hips, and my calf are about 90 degrees. So I don't want to go any lower than 90 and sit all the way down. It's going to be too easy. Just squatting, you know. And I also don't want to not go enough. Because that again will be too easy. I want to get that 90 degrees. Three. And really important, you hold for five seconds. So to get all the benefits we want to get, we want to make sure we're holding this the whole time. And again, we're not bending our, our chest. Our chest is staying upright as we go down to protect that lower back. And up. All right, so we got about a minute in. Two more to go. looking sideways really to make sure in the mirror that my knees are 90. Chest up, chest up. Good. That last 30 seconds can go a little bit faster. So what that means is as we're down, when we come up, we're no longer taking a breath, but we're shooting back down quick. Feel the burn, you know we're doing good. Good. Keep that 30 second break. And we're gonna do another exercise. This is gonna be more for the abs though. So it's a V up. We're gonna put one of these nice, sweet science gloves between our feet. And we're gonna bring the feet. So the gloves come up, and I'm gonna grab it with my hands. So it doesn't really matter if we bring the feet to the hands, or if you want, you could sit up and bring the hands to the feet. Either way. Again, the better condition you're in, the more of these you'll be able to do.
losing my jacket a bit, but I think that's all right. Now this is really one of those exercises where the determination of will is going to be tested. I want to try to make sure you make it through that round. It's not just about doing the exercise. It's about, especially if you're a boxer, it's about conditioning yourself for three minutes to know whatever happens in that three minutes, you're going to be able to get through it. So you're building kind of emotional muscle where you're not going to let yourself quit, where you believe in yourself, where you know you can do anything for three minutes. Now at the same time, if you're getting a little bit gassed, this is your rest right here. Take a break, grab it, and go back down. So we just don't want to come out of it. If you need to take a deep breath every time you grab the glove, go ahead and do that. Now, last 30, we want to get everything we can out of this. Keep them with the abs tight, protect them. Wonderful. So we're going to go ahead and uh, turn the bell off. And we're going to take a whole minute um, before our intervals. And we'll do two intervals today. We're going to do 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest for our intervals. And the first one's going to be high knees. What I look for. When people at the gym do high knees, or myself, I'm doing them, is kind of the baseline for me, you know, assuming you're relatively healthy, is you want to bring those knees over the chest. I'm sorry, over the waist, over the waist. I like to do it with my hands up, just because it's kind of good practice for boxing to keep your hands up when you're doing them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the interval bell on, and we will do four sets of high knees, uh, 30 seconds each. So we're going to go ahead and get these high knees in. Hands up, knees over the... Not easy. Not easy. Three more. So it's active. Make sure you're pulling that knee up over the waist. Each one. Halfway there. Hang in there. Good. 
Two more. Shadow box a little bit if you want. Bring him up. Knees up. Halfway there. Push off that toe when it hits. Make that knee come up. Ah. For me, it's uh, it's more of just really trying to bring that knee up than the the cardio. I mean, I definitely feel the cardio in the lungs, but more just fighting those hips to drive that knee up. Make sure I get it over that waist. Last one. Go sideways. Make sure I can see it. Over the waist. Halfway there. That's 10 seconds. Bring that left knee up, left knee up. Fight it out. Good, we're gonna uh, go ahead and take a four minute break. Next one we're gonna do is um, little jumps, ring jumps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, on the ring, jump up, jump down, jump up, jump down. And I'm gonna try to do, uh, try to do 30 second ones. So we're gonna get 30 second ones and we're not gonna try it, we're gonna do it, 30 seconds. Time my shoes and we're ready. Try to spring so you don't get flat on your heels. As soon as your toe hits, you pop, you pop back up. I'm gonna go forward, sideways, backwards. Go sideways, both sides. Spring up and again, when those toes hit, you're back up. bit harder to do those uh, than when I was a kid but I gotta do it
Halfway, two more sets. Now the last one uh, I'm gonna do is gonna be I'm gonna try to jump backwards on it. So we'll see how it goes. Again, if you don't feel comfortable going backwards, then do another one forward. Get rid of the bell. <clears throat> and we'll take a minute breather and we'll finish up with some abs. So what I want to do is just hold my plank, bring my right knee to my right elbow. Um, we'll see if we get maybe a few sets of 25, maybe two on each side, possibly more. Let's go ahead and rest for another 30 seconds. Fifteen more seconds. I like to do all one side first before I do the other side. So I'm going to do all right knee to right elbow, and then I'll switch and do left knee to left elbow. I think that the more you work that one side, the more kind of it isolates it, and the harder it is. All right, let's do it. One. Touch it. Two. second break so two things I want to focus on is number one making sure the knee touches the elbow and number two there's really when you're holding a plank there is no rest so if you need to slow down slow down you're still on the plank you're still getting a lot of benefits uh, just by being in that plank Need a left elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 5. So that's pretty good.
good, but uh, we're gonna do one more set on each side. Let's take another 30 seconds here. We'll get into this last set. Again, making sure that knee touches the elbow. We're in no rush, we're enjoying it the whole time. Last 10. I should really feel this, I really felt that last set, right on my oblique, right on my side. All right, let's get it. One. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two. 3, 24, 25. Alright, 30 second break. We got our last one after that. We're gonna make it. Last one. We have to make it. No choice. 15 more seconds. Get in position here. Last set. So maybe you're doing more than 25, maybe you're doing less than 25, but four sets was our goal today. Nice round number, 100. Keep that back. Six, seven, level. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, five more, 21, abs tight, 22, 23, 24, 25, we gotta do one for good luck, 26. All right, that's that, thank you. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the videos. I wanna let you know we have a brand new groundbreaking app, the Sweet Science Plus, available in the Apple iTunes store, where Kelly the Ghost Pavlik, three-time middleweight champion, and myself provide a 40 minute workout every day with boxing video instruction. Be sure to get this app to practice the techniques you learn from this YouTube channel.